I was introduced to it locally here in Adelaide, and then I have actually started using it. And now if I want to sell it to my client, she got a naturopath, nutritionist, you've got a natural therapist link and something they can tell us about that. What do we get in our little kit? Okay, well, I'm really keen for Founders Formula to be at that intersection of wellness and beauty. And as someone with a skin condition, I know how important it is. So I'm really to use the right sort of skincare, you know, so I want to do whatever I can actually to support naturopaths and other um, wellness professionals to, to use our product. Hello and welcome. Mentoring with Geraldine is a bite-sized practitioner podcast for naturopaths, nutritionists, herbalists and practitioners. This podcast responds directly to your needs, the needs of the practicing natural therapist. With interviews, herbal discussions, something business and something clinical each week, you'll get the variety you need and enjoy to stay motivated in practice. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mentoring with Geraldine and the Bite Size Podcast. How the devil are you? So I've got a very special guest with us today. Her name is Annie Holden, and she is the owner, creator, the inspiration behind Founders Formula, which are these wicked little jars of the most amazing oils and serums for the skin. And the reason I've asked Annie on is because I've been using them and I love them. So, you know, we're not allowed, you know, all of this Instagram thing and all the stuff, but, you know, I purchased my products and so I'm not being paid for advertising. What I've asked Annie to do is come on and talk to us about how she got into this. It's a dream come true for many of us, isn't it? It's how to create our own product. And Annie's gone ahead and done that. She's working out a bit of a thing with naturopaths and nutritionists, and she's going to tell us all about it and about how she got into this. So, Annie, welcome. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Thanks, Geraldine. My pleasure. So how did you get into this? What was the what started you into face formulas, should we call them? <laughs> okay, so I've always been a beauty junkie and a wellness junkie anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm actually an anthropologist, so I've spent 35 years working in remote and very remote parts of Australia. And so you just become very passionate about everything, really, when you work in those kinds of places, the way plants are used and what they're used for, where they grow, how unique they are. And I went with a friend to Cosmoprof, which is the big world trade show for beauty in Italy about four years ago. And I was really stunned because there was no Australian botanicals on show. Wow. There were a couple of, yeah, I know, because if you look into it, Australian botanicals are extremely potent. For a start, we're geographically isolated. So our plants have evolved independently of what else is happening in the rest of the world. So they are quite unique. We're an incredibly harsh environment. And you've got to remember that plants are living cells. So, you know, what they need, all living cells really need. So, for example, you know, we've all heard of kakadu plum has the most vitamin C of any plant on earth. And, you know, that, (laughs) I know, it's incredible. The thing about vitamin C is, as you know, it's an antioxidant. Plants in the desert and elsewhere are exposed to the sun. And so, of course, kakadu plum is, you know, a northern Australian uh, desert tree. Another example is, I think a lot of people have heard of gotcha I never know how to pronounce it right. No, (laughs) you've got it right. We all use it. I got it right? We use it as naturopaths in the herbal tincture form all the time. Amazing for cardiac and all of the veins and arteries and everything that's going on there. It's amazing stuff. Got lots of properties. Yeah. So what you may not realize is that what people are using as gotcha cola is Centala Asiatica. Mm-hmm. But the Australian version, which is oh. cordifolia, has twice the amount of the three active in, well, you know, it's sometimes called pennywort, swamp pennywort, we call it in Australia. So those three phyto compounds that make it so amazing to build connective tissue and so forth, that's actually in greater concentrations in Australian plants. I mean, I could go on and on with the, you know, macadamia is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> like, you know, uh, macadamia is maruchi nut, which is just down the road from I live just north of Maruchidor. It's uh, very high in omega-7, which of course is the beauty omega. And, you know, I think another one that has a lot of that is sea buckthorn oil and things like that. So very high, very good for skin. Macadamia also has a lot of squalane as distinct from 
squalene, which is synthetic. Squalane is what the skin produces anyway to moisturise itself. So anyway, I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> Let's just sum it. No, I was getting I'm excited. <laughs> I was getting super interested, but it is the bite-sized podcast. So we're, yeah, yes, we're yes. so well remembered, well remembered. <laughs> The oil that I've got, it's got pepperberry in it, which I'm yep. from Tasmania, which I've only just been introduced to because I was in Tasmania last November. So it's in, you know, tonics and all sorts of things and in gin and all mm. of the things over there. And then here it is now in something I'm putting on my face as well. Mm. So so you've got this path looking at all these plants, but what made yep. you go, okay, I'm I've been to this. Yep. How am I going to do it? What was the inspiration to put them into oils and create them as they are? How did you go about doing all that, finding people to help you? Because I would assume you've not ever made moisturizer oh, before. Right? No, I haven't. No. <laughs> okay, so what I did was like I knew I had already read that I'm a researcher, I've got a PhD. So I'm always going down the rabbit hole. So I already knew that there were really incredible Australian plants. Mm. So I came back to Australia and I found an amazing cosmetic formulator. Mm -hmm. So the way we work together is that I will go and do the research. Australia's, you know, at the cutting edge of research into plant sciences. Yeah. And so there's 23,000 Australian plant species and only a thousand have been studied so far. So the right. research, it's coming out every day almost. Mm -hmm. So I stay on top of the research, say something like pepperberry. So I personally have a salicylate intolerance. So I have a skin condition to manage as a result of that. So I'm very careful about what I put on my skin. And I know from experience, that there's no question that the skin absorbs, you know, the body absorbs what you put on the skin. Oh, yeah. So I'll work with her and I'll say, hey, this is, uh, let's say pepperberry, this is so amazing. It stops the inflammatory response. There's clinical studies. Mm -hmm. I've found a supplier who's there because you might find 50 suppliers of pepperberry, but only one has actually done clinical studies on their extract so that you can ensure that it's got the correct levels of the active phytocons. Mm -hmm. And then she and I will say, well, that would be perfect for a, calming serum that people can use with their microcurrent machine for example mm. and so then we'll sit down and we'll work out well what else should we put in it oh we'll create it in a base of organic aloe vera we'll put some hyaluronic acid in it which is there are naturally derived hyaluronic acid so we'll use that we choose which weight hyaluronic acid is going to work so obviously different size molecules absorb more deeply into the skin than others some will stay on top of the skin if we want it to stay a little bit thicker and moist on the skin etc so then we'll just go through all of that and then we try it on me <laughs> if I don't react that it's okay <laughs> and then we try it on others and that's how our process that's amazing so I was introduced to it locally here in Adelaide and then I have actually started using it and now if I want to sell it to my client she got a naturopath nutritionist you've got a natural therapist link and something they can tell us about that what do we get in our little kit okay well I'm really keen for founders formula to be at that intersection of wellness and beauty and as someone with a skin condition I know how important it is so I'm really to use the right sort of skincare you know so I want to do whatever I can actually to support naturopaths and other um, wellness professionals to to use our products so we have we've put together a little sort of naturopath starter kit mm -hmm. um, which is sort of like a retail pack of um, I think it's got calm in it which is our calming serum our kakadu plum vitamin c serum which also has finger lime extract in it which is very high and naturally high in ferulic acid which stabilizes the vitamin c and i think it might have our phyto a i mean phyto a is another example of australian native tobacco serum so australian native tobacco is do you want me to shut up or no no i'm <laughs> loving it i'm actually loving it i know that people listening will be going yeah yeah okay so i can get the product that's great geraldine will have yes. the link in the show notes but what's she going to yes. say about tobacco tell us <laughs> Okay, so the leaves on Australian native tobacco are very, very fragile. So they're really suitable for virologists. They use, Actually, they've been using them to develop vaccines and things like that. Wow. But there is a peptide that has been farmed out of that particular plant. And the clinical studies show that it is four times more effective than retinol, retinoic acid 
at stimulating collagen. And so the clinical studies, they've actually measured it with a spect spectrometer or whatever it is that measures the radiance of the skin. I'd have to check my figures, but I think it's like 57% after four weeks, something like that. So, you know, it's there are results there and that's a really exciting product. And we're, Tony, my chemist and I are currently developing that into a body moisturizer as well. Because oh, wow. That'd be amazing. I think it'll be fabulous. Yeah. That will be fabulous. I mean, yeah. the bottles, I mean, they're not cheap, got to say. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're small bottles, but I have yeah. to also say the results, my skin is amazing on it. And to be able to go from, you know, right at the beginning there where it's a totally different thing that you do, you just get inspired by a meeting that you go to and you come back and you go, hey, look at what we've got. I know this stuff. I can do this. I can find these people and I can create this incredible product that can be used you know, for anyone uh, on this, it's just, I mean, it is beautiful. So obviously everyone who's listening to the podcast, normally we're only talking about herbs and, but I have had on here every so often a few people who have a product that I think really needs to get out there and we all need to know about. I think yours is one of those products. So I'm really excited. And they, so in the show notes, everyone, there will be a link to Founders Formula, because a lot of us also, we talked about this just before we came on, mm -hmm. a lot of us are actually online and so we don't necessarily have a clinic. So that can be sorted out on a one-to-one -one basis with Founders Formula. So don't worry about that, guys, if you're not actually in a clinic having something on your shelf. Um, the drop shipping situation, it can all be figured out, but it is a one-to-one -one once you've started purchasing. So and I love mine. Look at my skin. <laughs> no, you can't. You're on a podcast. <laughs> you're, I'm in your ears instead. You'll just have to believe me when I say that my skin has improved. And um, so I wanted to get Annie on to talk to us about it. So um, and that, since we are the Bite Size Podcast, it probably is time to go. The website and everything will be in the show notes. So thank you so much, Annie, for coming and talking to us. It's incredible what we've got out there in Australia and what we're just not using that we need to know more about we need more education around these things so yeah that's a point if you're listening to the podcast and you can help us more with our education then contact me for another podcast so it's absolutely brilliant thank you so much for coming in annie thanks Geraldine. i really appreciate it thanks so much for joining me today don't forget to rate review and subscribe to the podcast for the weekly episodes if you'd like even more support and learning then the academy is for you here you'll find part two of the herbal discussions, more clinical learning and case studies to support your clients in practice. Bye for now.